Hi and welcome, I'm Alfie Boulet from the Dimitro Boulet Piano Duo and today I'm giving a short tutorial on the new piece by Jamie Duffy, uh, Rialta. So Jamie Duffy became famous with solos and he recently wrote another piece called Rialta. It's very fun and um, today is going to be about how the few challenges that there are about this piece. So my favorite section of the piece is here. <laughs> super fun to play and it's very nice to listen to. I think that the first challenge is the rhythm, the second is the coordination and the third are the ornaments. So let's dive in with the rhythm. So throughout the entire piece, almost the entire piece, we have the same one and the same rhythm. Starts in the right hand. And then it gets taken over by the left hand while the right hand starts a melody. Okay, so we have four beats in the bar, so let me just count that out for you. We have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let me actually notate that for you. All right, I don't have my upper camera today. I apologize. I don't have my Apple Pencil <laughs> today. I apologize. I'll try to draw with my finger and see if that... Um, gets in any way uh, that you can read it. So we have one which comes together with the chord, then we have and, I'm just gonna write a dash for and, that comes together with the rest. Then comes the chord in between the and and the second beat, which is together with this rest. Then we have and, which comes together with the chord. Then we have three, which comes together with this chord. Then we have and, which to com comes together with the rest here. This chord comes in between the and and the four. Four comes together with the rest here. And and comes together with this chord, which means one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that is the rhythm. I hope that was a bit clear for you, like that. And that continues almost throughout the entire piece until the slow part at the end comes. So that was number one, right? That was rhythm. Number two is coordination. So once the melody comes, your left hand is going to keep on doing this. And while your right hand is playing the melody. As far as coordination goes, that is a bit tricky. What I would advise and what I generally like to do is I would take in your score and I would just notate where does your right and left hand come together and where do they not. So for me that always helps. Let's look for example in this bar. Here we have this come together. So if I had my pencil, I would be a little bit more precise. These two are together. This one comes in between, this one comes in between, and this one comes in between. So that I think is really good to know. If we take a look at that bar, we just start together. So as you see, all of those are after each other. So that's what I would do throughout the whole piece. We can do one more bar here. These start together. This it starts together but the left hand is, is tied, so your left hand isn't actually playing something. This is coming in between, these are coming together, and then this one is coming in between. So if you take a look at that bar, starting off together, once more slow, turning off together. So that's what I would do throughout the entire piece. Just you know, mark where are your notes together and where are they coming in between. It's just so much easier to have that um, right in front of you, to have that a little bit more clear. Okay, so now the third thing are the embellishments. So what's written in this score is actually a grace note. And a grace note technically would sound like this. Now that's not really what he plays, so I would more think of it as a mordant or even as two 30 second notes um, to get a little bit more close to what he's actually playing, which is... Which is, uh, as I said, it's not really the grace note. So I think that that will help you play this a little bit better. If you want actually um, advice on how to play ornaments, I think we have a video on it, I'll check, and if so, I'll put it up here. And um, if you want more on this piece or on any other piece, just feel free to let me know in the comments down below. 
Um, oh, don't forget, Dimitar's music is coming out really, really soon. On the 22nd of January, his piece Passage of Time is coming out. It's coming out on Spotify. It's coming out here on YouTube as well. The sheet music is available, so um, check in for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Practice well, have fun practicing, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.